what is up guys jeremy here and welcome back to another video so we're going to be taking a look at some of the best apps you can get on your mac as of 2016 now i'll be going through this alphabetically and i'll also leave the links for every single app that i mentioned in this video down in the description so be sure to check there if you guys want to check out any of these apps in specific this is a really good lineup of applications so let's go ahead and jump into this. Alfred 3 is basically the spotlight search, but on steroids. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite uh, apps for the Mac. So if I just click my hotkey, you can have it set up to be different than your actual spotlight search, as you guys can see, just like so. And uh, like I said, it's basically just spotlight on steroids. It's definitely a really, really good application for your Mac. Next up, we have Amphetamine. Uh, this is pretty much a caffeine replacement. If any of you have ever heard of caffeine, uh, it was an app that I used to use all the time. Uh, but like I said, Amphetamine is pretty much the replacement for it. Pretty much what this app does is it overrides your energy saver settings on your Mac, like when your device goes to sleep or when your screensaver kicks in. Uh, it allows you to override that. Also, you have the ability to... Uh, have those settings changed when certain apps are open and running, uh, which is super convenient, especially if you're downloading something on your on your Mac and you don't want your Mac to go to sleep. This is the perfect app for you. Again, it's called Amphetamine. App Zapper is a really cool application that allows you to delete all associated files to a certain applications. Typically, if you delete an app off your Mac, you just delete the app only and you're still going to have the cache files, the preference files, and a bunch of other stuff. Like I said, with App Zapper, it'll look up everything associated with that application and allow you to pick and choose uh, what you want to get rid of off of your Mac, uh, aside from just the application alone. Definitely worth taking a look at. Again, it's called App Zapper. Next up, we have Bartender 2. Pretty much what this app allows you to do is to hide uh, certain icons within your status bar of your Mac. Uh, into the bartender and you can just easily click on the little icon to show those elements uh, This is definitely a really cool app to have on your Mac as you guys can see here's some examples uh, Of what you can do with it. Uh, there's a lot of customization with it as well. Uh, you can change the icon you can have uh, certain icons hidden indefinitely or uh, Hidden within the bartender menu. It's definitely a great way to kind of clean up the status bar on your Mac Definitely worth taking a look at Again, it's called Bartender 2. So Safari is a pretty good web browser on the Mac, but I think that Google Chrome is even better, uh, especially if you're the type of person that has multiple Google accounts or even just a single Google account. I think that your experience on Google Chrome would be much better than Safari. Uh, it's just my web browser of choice. Of course, there's a lot of options when it comes to your web browser. Uh, but like I said, in my opinion, Google Chrome is the way to go, and I think it's the best web browser for the Mac. Next up, we have a really cool application called Copy Clip, which is a clipboard history manager. That way, if you're copying and pasting a lot of items on your Mac, you can easily click on the menu bar icon, and it'll show you a history of everything you've copied. That way, you can easily choose to copy it again, or you can copy multiple things, and you'll have a history of it right in your menu bar. Uh, I think it's a definite must-have on your Mac. Again, it's called Copy Clip. Flux is an application which originated as a iOS jailbreak tweak, uh, and it's definitely worth taking a look at on your Mac. Basically, what Flux does is depending on the time of day, it will change uh, basically your screen kind of hue or color. It'll make it more yellowish at night. Uh, and it definitely benefits your eyes for, you know, the yellowish tint. That way you don't have all these bright whites, uh, which can ultimately kind of give you a headache, in my opinion, especially if you're in a completely dark room. You're sitting here looking at your Mac. Uh, like I said, with that yellow tint kind of hue to it, it's just much easier on your eyes at night. And like I said, this will change throughout the day, depending on the time, depending on when the sun goes down. It's definitely a really cool application to look at. Again, it's called Flux. Next up, we have GIMP. This is hands down the best Photoshop application that is free. Uh, I used to use it all the time. I actually used to use it to make thumbnails for my videos. Uh, I don't really use it anymore. I pretty much just use Pixelmator now, uh, which in my opinion, it's just a little bit better, but it's virtually the same thing. Uh, so this is a great option for anybody that doesn't want to have to purchase Adobe Photoshop or Pixelmator. Uh, in terms of being free, this is your best option, and it's actually a really well put together uh, Photoshop application. 
Uh, again, it's called GIMP. So if you are a avid Gmail user like I am, go for Gmail. Email client is the best Gmail application, in my opinion, that you can get on the Mac. It has a really nice menu bar item or icon uh, that shows you how many missed emails you do have. Uh, and I really like the functionality of this application. It's just one of the best for Gmail on the Mac. Again, it's called Go for Gmail. Hidden Me Free is another must have app on your Mac. It will hide your desktop icons. I'm actually using it on my Mac right now just to keep my desktop looking clean. Like I said, it hides all the icons on your desktop. It does have a menu bar uh, icon. We can go ahead and click on it and will show the desktop icons just by clicking a button. So as you guys can see, I actually do have a bunch of stuff on my desktop uh, and I don't necessarily wanna see it all the time or have it be shown like right now as I'm recording this video. So all I gotta do is use that menu bar uh, icon and then hide the icons. Definitely a must have. Again, it's called Hidden Me Free. Next up we have Hit Film 4 Express. So if you guys don't wanna have to buy uh, Adobe Premiere or any kind of paid video editing software this is what you're going to want to download it is the best free video editing software in my opinion um, i personally uh, have only used it a couple of times because um, i like to use premiere pro uh, from adobe i think that's the absolute best video editing software you can get but for those of you that are looking for a free alternative that works really really well this is definitely it again it's called hit film for express next up we have insta app for Instagram. This, in my opinion, is one of the best Instagram applications you can get on your Mac. Uh, I use Instagram all the time. And uh, like I said, this is probably uh, the best app on the Mac that I found, in my opinion, for functionality and just how simple it is. As you guys can see, I actually have it open here on the side. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, be sure to do so. The link is in the description. But like I said, uh, this is just one of my favorite Instagram applications for the Mac. Again, it's called Insta App for Instagram. LibreOffice is a powerful office suite. It comes with multiple applications and it's one of the best free and open source office suites you can get. Uh, this is going to be kind of your Microsoft replacement on the Mac. It's definitely worth taking a look at. Again, it's called LibreOffice. Memory Clean 2 is a definite must have on your Mac as well. Uh, this is one of my favorite applications. Basically it allows you to clean up RAM on your Mac very easily and quickly. I actually do have this running right now as you guys can see it in the menu bar there. So uh, it shows your available memory in your RAM on your device. It shows app memory, wired, compressed, used, uh, how much file cache there is, and then it shows the total RAM that you have below that. And if you want to easily and quickly clean up any free memory that you can get on your Mac, just click on Clean Memory, and Memory Clean 2 will do the rest. Definitely a really cool application. Uh, again, this called Memory Clean 2. Next up, we have the best music application you can get on your Mac, in my opinion. It's even better than iTunes, and it is Spotify. Now, you can get Spotify for free, uh, but I do have the premium uh, version, which is 10 bucks a month, and I've had Spotify for about four years now, I would say, four or five years. Pretty much as soon as they came out, I decided to try it, and I ended up going premium, and I've been paying for it ever since. Uh, the thing I love about Spotify the most is just how seamless it is uh, to use on your Mac and then to easily just switch to your iPhone or iPad. It is extremely seamless. Uh, and some of the cool options with uh, having the premium version is that obviously there's no advertisements. Uh, you do have the ability to get the high quality audio. Uh, and then you can also listen offline. So you can actually download these songs uh, onto your Mac or onto your iOS device. Um, like I said, it's just something you would have to try out, I would say. Uh, you can try Spotify Premium uh, for a month, and you probably won't look back. But, of course, you can get Spotify for free as well. So, again, in my opinion, the best music application you can get on your Mac, and that is Spotify. So, there are a lot of different BitTorrent applications you can get on the Mac. Uh, and uTorrent is just my favorite overall uh, it's really, really simple, it's easy to use, it's lightweight, it's powerful, it's fast. It's pretty much just a great all-around BitTorrent application for the Mac, like I said. I'd recommend to just try it out. 
Uh, like I said, there's a ton of other options in terms of a BitTorrent application you can get on the Mac, but this just happens to be my favorite, so I would recommend to just, just try it out. Again, it's called uTorrent. So there you go, guys. Those are some of the best free Mac apps that you can get, uh, in my opinion. Again, like I said, all of the apps are listed down in the description, so if you guys want to check any of them out or download them, try them, be sure to check out the description down below. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.